All right, what's up guys? This is Spooky and welcome back to the next part of Let's Play Metroid. Uh, in the previous part, we gathered up a whole ton of items including a whole bunch of missiles that we'll need for later on in the game. And now we're here at the entrance to Ridley's Lair. No need for hesitation, let's go. Okay, so um, this area is, is a little bit on the tricky side. Bear with me if I make any mistakes. Right at the start, there's something here actually from... Is it this room? Let's see. Nope, next room, my bad. Yep, here we go. So up here, we're gonna find um, an item. I think it's just a missile case. These enemies. They do a lot of damage, even with the various suit. You can see that many of these enemies are pallet swaps, but uh, they do have much, much more health. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of health. And they do more damage as well. Okay. Indeed it is missiles that we get. So back we go, nothing else here for us. It's so brutal, look at this. Brutal. Ridley is not fucking around. Okay, so we're gonna go right on back down and head to the west. Anyway, Ridley's Lair, uh, there are not too many items here, uh, mostly uh, missiles. There are a couple energy tanks also. But I mean, these are critical items, things we need, so we're gonna make sure to gather them up. Don't touch me, please. Oh my god, the damage. Look at the damage. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing to do is to freeze them first. Sorry, I hate sucking my teeth on the mic. I can't help it sometimes, though. It just gets annoying. Look at all these enemies. Look at this nonsense. So, if I'm not mistaken, there is a way to get past this. How do you do it? See if I can find it. There it is. So actually for us to proceed in this room, we have to go through this little passageway. And it took me a while to figure this out. I was like, how the heck are you supposed to get this item? But there you go. Break open the door. In here there's an energy tank. There's also a pitfall here. If I'm not mistaken. Don't really want to run into it. Or maybe I do? Let's see, what would be faster? Actually falling would be faster. Whoosh, let's go. Alright, here's where you end up. So to the east first. All these annoying ass enemies. They all stack up too. I'm surprised it doesn't slow down. Anyway, another passageway. Okay, we gotta be really careful in this room. If we miss this jump, we are never getting these missiles. <sighs> Close one. Okay. Wow, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> the trap vortex. All right, so we got the missiles. Um, there's one more missile case left that we're gonna go pick up before we go fight Ridley. Thankfully, this dungeon, although it's uh, a little on the complicated side as far as figuring out where to go, um, it's actually not that tough in the long run. 
All right, let's think about this. Which way am I going to take? Obviously, we have to go down here now since we've done everything else. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and I'm actually going to go east first. And that's the best way for us to get this missile case. As much as I hate having to go this route, oh my god, just stuff everywhere. And we're going to have to come back, but... This is what happens when you want a 100% run. You want every item, homie? You better go through the trouble to get every item. Screw attack really helping us out. Look at that. You know how annoying that room would be without the screw attack? Oh my god. It would be a super pain. Alright, and in here. This is another long, annoying passageway that we have to take. Oh god. Yes, no more enemies, please. <laughs> Look at this crap. <laughs> All right, so here's the missile case, and unfortunately, uh, going to the uh, going to the left uh, does lead somewhere, but it won't actually take us to where Ridley is. We'll have to go in a roundabout way. So, like it or not, woo, right back to these winding passageways. That is uh, the last missile case in this area. There's also one more energy tank, but we're not gonna get that just yet. Back up to uh, the previous doorway. Ouch. That That is actually one of the most unfair things. When you go through a doorway, an enemy just comes in with you. Come to the next room, bam, more damage. Hold that shit. I mean, I won't go as far as to say as this game is hard or anything, though. Definitely not as hard as some other games I've seen in my time. Bayou Billy. Fuck that game. I've never finished that shit in my life. If you finish Bayou Billy, you're a freaking genius, man. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to beat that game. I actually need health more than missiles right now, but I'll take either. There we go. Alright, so we have uh, what I hope is enough health for this Ridley fight, and it's actually very close by to us, just a little bit here to the west. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. So anyway, for the bosses in Metroid, I've seen a lot of different techniques to beat these bosses. I've seen some guys like use the ice beam and freeze every little projectile and do it that way. But you know, that's not really my style. My style is I'm going to run in this room and I'm just going to mash a whole lot of missiles. Every time he gets turned around, I just like to go the other way. Just get behind him. He'll die eventually. Most important thing is to not get like trapped or anything because then you'll just take... Lots of damage if you don't have to. That's it. 
All right, so we get 75 missiles uh, extra for beating Ridley. And there's uh, one more item here that we're going to pick up. And it takes uh, 10 missiles to open that door, actually. One of the only doors that works that way. Come on, that's not right. You see that? <laughs> Imagine if you were almost dead to Ridley, and then you just jump in the room. Bam! Death. Hold that shit. All right, and here's uh, another energy tank. So that's going to put us at 5. And good stuff. Uh, that's really all there is to it for Ridley's Lair. So that's going to be it for uh, this part of Let's Play Metroid. Uh, in the next part, we're going to backtrack all the way to Brinstar, uh, pick up one or two items that we missed while we were there, and then we're going to head to Crate's Lair. So uh, make sure to look out for it, guys. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace, everyone.